We're here today with Randolph Walker, who is a guitar teacher with a profile on findaguitarteacher.com. Good afternoon, Randolph. Thanks for talking to us today. My pleasure. It's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, can you first tell us, where do you teach? I teach out of my apartment studio in Old Southwest Roanoke, and uh, depending on schedules, I sometimes am able to make home visits. And is there a kind of radius that you would travel to in terms of distance? And uh, you can feel free to speak in a very detailed way because it'll be people in your area who are who are watching the interview. I will travel to uh, Roanoke, Roanoke County, Vinton, and Salem. Excellent. And in your teaching, uh, do you teach adults and children? I generally will start with children as young as second grade, all the way up, of course, through adults and retirees. Excellent. And uh, what levels do you teach? Uh, do you teach uh, all levels of guitar, or uh, do you teach more beginners and intermediate? How does that work? I'm really, really good with beginners and intermediate students. I have had a couple of students. Uh, I had one uh, kid that got really, really good at the shred guitar style. Yes. And I referred him on to a specialist in that. Uh, I teach finger style and classical. If I had somebody that got really, really good at classical guitar, I might refer them on. But yeah. I'm very, very, mm -hmm. very comfortable with uh, beginners and intermediate students. And uh, in students who come to you there in the, uh, the Roanoke area, what styles do you find they ask for most? Well, when you're starting with beginners, the foundation is the same for everyone. The first steps along the music road are, are about the same. You're dealing with learning to make chords and read tab, uh, fingering, uh, holding the guitar in the proper position, proper finger position, and then getting into the basics of rhythm, uh, keeping a steady tempo, and then uh, once people have learned some of the basics, they can start to go in one direction or another. But uh, mostly I find people coming to me for uh, wanting to play tabs and strum chords. And I, I have some people that want to learn finger style as well. I don't have many people looking for classical guitar, although I can teach uh, beginning levels of classical as well. Yes. And, and can you tell us a little bit about uh, how you learned to play guitar? I'm a trained musician. I started with cello when I was age 10. I started with the upright bass age 11 and had many years of formal training in the uh, school band program. I was in the Richmond Symphony Youth Orchestra. Uh, many years of private lessons. I had some piano lessons and uh, started with guitar at age 14. So I've been uh, studying and playing guitar for many, many years. And what first drew you into the guitar? You had been playing other instruments for a few years. Uh, were there particular songs or bands or a style of music that uh, caught your ear and made you want to play guitar? I fell in love with the Beatles when I was about, uh, I want to say about 13, and wanted to be able to play their songs. So I had a Beatles songbook. And that's how I learned to play guitar. I, I started to uh, just reading the chord charts in the Beatles songbook and already knowing how to read music. Um, I just went from there. And the Beatles have had that effect on a lot of people, I think, including me as well. For sure. Well, uh, when you when you work with students, uh, how long are the lessons? Uh, do you teach students an hour lesson or longer than that? Uh, um, what is the normal scheduling format? My lessons are 45 minutes. And I have a couple of uh, instructional bands. Those are students that have mastered some of the basics, and they're uh, continuing in a, in a small group format. It's, it's basically a small group lesson, but we, we're really a band. We have uh, songs we perform with, with arrangements, and we, we play at recitals. I have student recitals. Uh, every three months and those student bands uh th those go for an hour but my private lessons are, are 45 minutes and the students who are in the uh, student bands are they in those group lessons plus individual lessons or the the student band lessons have kind of taken the place of the individual lessons 
they have transitioned from the private lessons into the uh, my instructional bands, and I have, I think, two two instructional bands at this point. One plays mostly country, the other plays mostly rock. Got it. And you mentioned that uh, the instructional bands have songs. Uh, are they doing cover songs, or do you help them write original material? So far, we're doing cover songs. Uh, certainly wouldn't be opposed to going into the songwriting process if, if they had any uh, expressed any interest in it, but they uh, they're, have been requesting cover songs, so that's what we do. Of course, and do you help students uh, with songwriting uh, when you're teaching them individually? I have had a few students that uh, wanted to work on songwriting, and I am a songwriter and have uh, produced several CDs with original material, so I'm very comfortable working with songwriting if that's something the student requests. That, that's wonderful, Randolph. And I see uh, behind you, above and to the side, there, mm -hmm. there are many guitars. Uh, would it be possible for you to play something for us so we could get a taste of your playing and or uh, singing, if you'd like to play and sing something? Sure. Uh, let me do a, a little instrumental for you first. Sounds great. I'll take my headphones off. Okay. That, of course, was Green Sleeves, and I'm playing that on my classical guitar. And as you can see, I've also got a, uh, got a steel string and a, an electric guitar here. So I have students, most of my students are working on steel string acoustic guitars, and I have some that, that uh, like to work on the electric as well. So I can, I can teach both. That's wonderful. And um, yeah, that was a, a beautiful uh, version of Green Sleeves. That's such a, a lovely song. Um, and uh, uh, you mentioned that uh, you have written songs that you've recorded CDs. Is there a segment of any of your own songs that you'd like to play on the guitar of your choice? Uh, if you'd feel comfortable with that, sure. it, it would be wonderful to hear one of your own songs as well. Sure. Let me play you. I'm going to grab a different guitar and I'll play a little bit of one of mine. That would be wonderful, Randolph. Thank you. Here is a folk rock song it's called California Days. I'll just play like a verse of it or so. That's cool. Would you meet me in the city? Could we keep living this way? Where it ends, no one knows. But I remember those California days, California days. That, that's wonderful, Randolph. That's very catchy, uh, and uh, and that's great. Thank you very much for playing that. That's a, a very catchy song. Well, um, I I write in um, 1970s and 60s style. I really uh, I grew up in the days when there was a lot of melody. Right. In, in pop in popular music and that's that's what I absorbed and my music reflects that. And that song certainly does and uh uh I think that's a a style you mentioned the very melodic style. Mm -hmm. If it's just a voice and one guitar and uh having a strong melody makes it so much easier to deliver a song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe that and and that's what I like to listen to as well. Uh, the Beach Boys, Beatles, Simon and Garfunkel, Jimmy Webb, mm -hmm, of uh, course. Fifth, Fifth Dimension. Uh, to me, that was the golden age of music. Of course, there's lots of good music uh, coming out now. And uh, and I uh, will am happy to teach my students if they if they request they'd like to work on a song by a current artist. 
very happy to listen to it and uh, often will come up with an arrangement of uh, their song at a level that they can play. So that's one of the extra services I offer to my students. That, that's wonderful, and it's it's a way to help them get more interested in guitar if they're playing a current song that they really enjoy. And do you find that uh, uh, them doing more current songs, say a Taylor Swift song, uh, is that, one I yeah. get a lot of requests for? I do too, yeah. If uh, someone is playing a Taylor Swift song, do you find that that person might be more open to learning, say, a, a song from the 60s and 70s? Or do you find that people like what they like and kind of stay within that ballpark? Uh, some of the newer songs um, can be difficult to sing because there's so many words. Mm. Uh, um, there's a whole lot of words that, that you have to, to cram into a, you know, a X number of measures. And so, so sometimes I will go back to something by, like, say, the Eagles or Credence Clearwater Revival if I have a student that wants to sing, because often those songs can be easier. So it's a balance. I, I like to keep students interested with things that they, you know, their, their current favorites. But also, if I have somebody that's going to perform at one of my recitals, for example, um, I want them to look good and succeed. So sometimes going back to an old chestnut uh, may may give them a real chance to shine. That that's a, a very good way to approach it, and I also think if they feel the confidence singing that older song, where like you're saying, the words might lay down a little bit easier to sing, that right. uh, that could also be a step into them feeling more comfortable playing one of the newer songs they enjoy, where the singing is more difficult. Absolutely. And when your students come to you, uh, you said you, you teach a lot of uh, beginners and intermediate students. I would imagine they have a lot of questions about what guitar to buy. Do you offer guidance on uh, equipment selection? Certainly do. I often will uh, recommend absolute beginners to get a guitar from one of our wonderful local stores. That way, if there's any issues with it, I mean, there's rarely an issue, but if there is, it's easy to take it back and get an adjustment, uh, get service. Um, and I often will talk about the action on the guitar. That's how high the strings are up above the uh, frets. Very important to you that you have decent action so the strings aren't so hard to push down because that can be discouraging. For, uh, for any guitar player. For any guitar player, but mm -hmm. as, especially a beginner. And um, I'm thinking that when you go into a, a guitar store to look at guitars, if you're a beginner, you might not think about that as something to look for. You'd be more mm -hmm. drawn by the appearance of the guitar. So, so you letting students know that gives them advice that uh, can really help them out in, uh, when they're choosing a guitar. And I have a handout, a PDF that I've made called Selecting a Guitar. That's a, a guide, and, I, and I'm always happy. I think it's on my website, and I will send that out uh, when students request it. That's, that's wonderful that that's available, kind of like a sheet with these various guidelines that you're discussing mm -hmm. now. Yes, exactly. Well, uh, and just uh, one last question. I don't know if I asked you before when we were discussing uh, your lessons and how long they are. Uh, what are your fees, Randolph? Well, I'm currently charging uh, $15 for a 45-minute lesson. And so it's very, very affordable. I have my stu students schedule and pay for lessons on a month-to-month -month basis. So at the beginning of the month, the fees are due for that month. I don't require every uh, week attendance. If the student can only come two or three times a month, perfectly fine. We just look at what's available and um, and put it down on the calendar. So you work with students at the beginning of each month to determine a schedule for that upcoming month. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Well, that's that's really wonderful, Randolph. Uh, we're going to be ending the interview in a minute, but I want to thank you again for taking the time to, to talk with us today. It's a real pleasure learning more about your guitar teaching and to, to hear you play both uh, California Days and Green Sleeves. Thank you for playing for us. Well, my pleasure, James. And I uh, want to wish you best of luck in your guitar teaching and in your music in general, and hope to see you very soon on Find a Guitar Teacher. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Randolph. Have a good day and take care. Okay, you too. Okay, bye-bye.